Hello guys, I'm Zoe from 190. Look at my fish tank. Do you guys like water? Follow me. Hey guys, look. I have a fish tank. Do you see the fish in there? They're swimming around. They will swim around like that forever, guys. It's infinite. Do you like water? For you guys who like water, follow me on an adventure. I'll show you how to make this fish tank. I'll show you how to catch a fish. Alright guys, the first thing you want to do in step one is build the fish tank frame. These are the items you might need. So collect them now. Do you have them? Well, let's begin. Step one, create a frame. Well done. Get ready for step two. For step two, build the glass using ice. Ice will create the illusion that it's water. Believe it or not. Alright guys, the next step here is easy. You want to make the floor out of sand. Therefore, you'll be able to put dead bush there and make it look like seaweed just like underwater, in a real-life aquarium. Okay guys, so the first thing we want to do in here is make a track. This track is going to be made out of ice, and the fish are going to be thrown across it. We're going to have water coming down it like a waterfall to direct the fish. So this is the illusion, guys, because this ice won't be seen from the other side. So the track's going to come down here and it's going to turn. And then it's going to turn again here. So you want to add some more ice blocks. There we go. You're doing really well, guys. Keep it up! Alright, now we're going to make a turn here. So we'll just add some more blocks. So we want it to fall onto the sand here, the fish, and then fall into a hopper. So let's place a hopper in here now. Go on. You can do it. We're nearly there. Alright, alright, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. Um, I'll be watching too much TV. Okay, so, yeah, get out your dropper first, actually, and um, place that up. Then you want to get your hopper out and surgically stitch them together by crouch placing. And there we have it. Okay, you're not going to have to power any of these droppers, guys, because the trick is to fill them up with fish. So if you can fill them up with fish right now, it'll save you a lot of hassle. So stacks and stacks of fish, guys, and each and every single one of these. Don't forget to do that, because I had to do it the hard way, and I'll show you how I did that later. Okay, guys, you want it facing the back of the fish tank like that. So this is where the fish will be popped out. Let's create a wall around the side, so we can have a water fountain. We want it to push the fish down, and it will slide on the ice as well, giving it that extra non-traction. And just build it up to around here, guys, so you can make another border. And bring it back up to the back of this hopper here, and finish it off like that. Try to keep everything even, guys. Okay, so it's looking good. So remember, we're not going to have to power any of those. So that's a cool thing. Let's just uh, fill up the gaps here, so the water can't get out. Just like this. Oh guys, I'm having a deja vu, I swear I've done this before. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> no, seriously. Massive deja vu right now. Unbelievable. I'm not kidding. <laughs> anyway, so here we go guys, we've now completed the side walls. Excellent, nice work. If I do say so myself. Alright, let's make um, the walls and the barriers made out of ice as well so you can't see them. This will prevent the water from splashing over and confusing your new fish friends. Alright, so there we go. And place one there. And one there, leaving a gap for the fish to go into the hopper. I think that's right. Okay, and add some more wall around here. And guys, don't close it all the way up. 
and don't forget to put your dead bush in there or your seaweed for special effects. So just place them randomly throughout there. We're half, we're nearly there guys. So now we just got to finish this bit here, a little bit higher, and that's about it. All right. Okay, let's add the water and see how it flows. And if it goes down here, turns the corner, goes straight to the hopper, then you've done it perfectly. Oh, and add one more here as well. One more water block. Let's break this one out. Oh yeah, let's just fill that up here with another ice block so that doesn't leak in. Alright, cool. Alright, add one more water block and that should do it. Let's fill up the gaps nice and quickly. And you guys will have a fish aquarium in no time. Now we just need to power it. So this is how we're going to do that. Just place two blocks here on the edges and break the one in the middle. And on top of here, you want to place one of those, one of these, on, oh, crouch place and put the redstone dust on the top of the hopper, so you've got your repeater and your torch. And put it on four ticks, there we go. Now you have a constant charge on and off on the top dropper alone. So you're wondering how the other droppers are powered, well they're not. So that's the idea, if you fill them up with fish, it'll just automatically push the fish up to the top. And the top drop is going to be powered, so it's going to be pushing the fish out, back around, around again, infinity, guys, forever. So let's fill up the dropper. Seeing I haven't done it yet, you guys probably were smarter than me and filled them up already. But I have to drop every single fish into that water right now and fill it up. So I'm going to do that in fast forward for your viewing, enjoyment, pleasure, entertainment, value. Let's speed it up, guys. Alright guys, now here is your new aquarium. This is my own design, some of it was pinched from here and there. Lord Redstone gave me the first idea about the ice. But the idea with the droppers connected that way, that's all me guys. I don't know if anyone else has done that yet. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh crap, crap 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 crap. Oh screw it, I'll just have to take that out. Pulled your hand out through your hair